Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Following the revelation of her affair with Nick Tilsley, Toya Habib had to make a difficult decision regarding her future on Coronation Street. Watchers of the ITV soap opera have witnessed the two women work behind Leanne Battersby's back for several months after she was drawn into the shadowy Alto Valen Institute, a cult headed by the cunning Rowan Cunliffe. Knowing full well that they were having an affair, Rowan had one of his friends snap a picture of them cuddling in an effort to use it as leverage. Leanne saw right through him earlier this week when he pulled off another one of his blackmail plots against Amy Barlow and gave her access to the laptop that may have been filled with evidence. The photo of Nick and Toya was discovered when she started to remove them. Terrified by their relationship, Leanne went into the viaduct bistro, whereupon she and Nick got into a heated, public argument. After he confessed his love for Toya, things got worse, she returned home to Victoria Court, feeling deceived, and let her feelings run wild. Rowan was following closely behind her, trying to persuade her that withholding the specifics of the affair scandal from him was the correct thing to do. She finally experienced a flash of insight when she realized that he had been taking advantage of her weakness and controlling her for months. Even though she had lost everything, she was determined to make sure Amy didn't. In tonight's episode, Julia Golding's character Shona Platt offered her opinion on the matter and, upon observing Leanne's level of annoyance, encouraged her to exact revenge. He was forced to close the restaurant early after she plastered printouts of the Nick and Toya photo all over the wall at the cafe. When they were back at home, he acknowledged that he couldn't recall their last good moment together and that it didn't even begin with her involvement with the Institute. Leanne retorted that she still loves Nick and has never stopped. The duo then agreed to sit down with his son Sam, Jude Reardon, and explain their split. Leanne got into a verbal fight with Toya when she came to pack her things, although she did apologize for everything the cult had done to ruin her life, she continued by saying that even though she despises her and has already lost Nick, she is unable to bear the idea of losing her sister as well. Toya informed him outside that she would be staying put and that their relationship would not continue because she loved her sister too much. Are they ever going to be able to reconcile? Next week, Coronation Street will feature dramatic moments as the real reason behind Tracy Barlow's return is made public. In the previous month, Tracy made an unexpected comeback on the popular ITV soap opera that is aired on Virgin Media in Ireland. Fans of the soap opera will remember that Kate Ford, the actress, left the cobbles when Tracy went to Spain to live with her lover Tommy Orpington. Fans thought actress Kate had abandoned the serial opera when Tracy chose to leave Weatherfield and go look for warmer climes with her new partner, leaving behind her friends and family, including Steve McDonald, with whom she had recently split, but when Tracy unexpectedly returned to the cobblestones last month, it quickly became apparent that she was concealing something, and it remained unclear what exactly she had returned for. Upcoming scenes on the ITV soap seem to finally disclose the truth behind Tracy Barlow's homecoming in a depressing way. Next week's spoilers show Tracy reading a letter Tommy wrote to his daughter Amy Barlow, in which he asks her to return home and expresses his deep longing for her. What precisely has Tommy done, and what advice will Amy give? Viewers seem to believe that Tracy broke up with Tommy, and that's why she returned so soon. Tracy is back, they say. I believe that Tracy's life in Spain wasn't ideal, that she and Tommy had cheated on each other, or that Tommy had had enough and dumped Tracy. One person wrote, Coronation Street, while another said, it's likely that one of them cheated on the other when life in Spain isn't all glamour and dazzle or after Tommy broke up with Tracy, actress Kate talked about her most recent plot, in which she fell in love with Tommy and the two started an affair, back at the beginning of the year. She stated, I haven't had a storyline as meaty as this for quite a long time, in reference to the plot. I was a little anxious because Simon and I hadn't done any kissing sequences in about ten years. The first thought that comes to mind is, oh my goodness, this is really strange, I've only known this person for five days. I had to step a little outside of my comfort zone, but after I did it, I felt Oklahoma. Turning on Tracy's seductive side is not simple, she told the mirror. 
that seems like a lot less difficult to play in your 30s. I'm attempting to keep it from becoming really vampire-like because it would be excessive. A well-known Coronation Street actress opened out on how they felt about their difficult plot ending. Paul Foreman, played by Peter Ash, and Billy Mayhew, played by Daniel Brocklebank, have been at the center of an intense motor neuron disease, MND, narrative for the past year and a half, a first for the ITV soap opera. After learning that Paul has MND last year, fans are aware that his time is running out. Watchers of the ITV soap opera witnessed Paul first have trouble with his grasp, which resulted in a test referral to a neurologist. Sadly, he started to lose his ability to speak and move. A year later, Paul is restricted to his apartment and unable to utilize his stairlift. He uses an eye gaze equipment to communicate with his loved ones in addition to a wheelchair and neck support. Billy, Paul's spouse, is now his primary caregiver in the meantime, the vicar has promised to make the most of their time together before it ends. Actor Peter Ash's exit from the show was announced by Paul's sad death in sorrowful scenes during Monday's melancholy episode, September 9, according to the Liverpool Echo. Following respiratory difficulties, Paul was taken to the hospital by ambulance with his mother Bernie, Jane Hazelgrove, and Summer, Harriet Bibby. Billy was trying to set up a new phone, not realizing that he had lost his old one the night before. Billy was saddened to learn that Paul was very ill and had been admitted to the hospital. Billy made a last-ditch effort to go to the hospital, but when he arrived, it was too late. Summer, Bernie, and Gemma, Dolly Rose Campbell, had all died beside Paul. In a heartbreaking turn of events, Bernie pretended to be Paul's caregiver when Billy called her, letting Billy say goodbye without realizing that Paul had already passed away, the actor who plays Billy, Daniel Brocklebank has now disclosed his personal link to the plot, having seen a family member battle MND. Daniel revealed in an interview with Daily Star and other media outlets, It's been a really special story to be a part of and a really special story to tell because I've lived through something very similar in my own life. I'm very intertwined in my own life with the MND community, I know a lot of people living with it, I know people who have been carers throughout a family member living through it, he continued, underlining his strong ties to the MND community. Telling such a story seemed very intimate. Daniel also thought back to the tragically ended 22 years ago in his grandfather's fight with MND. Even though he is proud of the powerful story, it appears that the plot's emotional impact has affected him. But I'm really glad it's coming to an end, he said in admission. He went on to say, I'm quite proud of what we've been able to accomplish, even if it's been exhausting. I am aware that the MND community is rather happy with our accomplishments. And throughout the past 20 plus years, I felt as though I've been able to remark on various aspects of my grandfather's experience as well as the stories of countless other people I've known who have MND. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.